Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everyone, uh, this is Oliver and I'm going to be doing a screencast for the Locker Gnome channel on YouTube. This is going to be mainly on how to do a Skype call and take live Skype calls over Ustream uh, while you can still talk into the microphone. And many uh, YouTubers actually use this on their Ustreams and it sounds really professional, it sounds really crisp and clear. Um, so the way that you would actually talk into it, uh, you would have to have another application to do this, which is Audio Hijack Pro, um, which is a very powerful application that, uh, that can be used for this. Um, so what we're actually going to do is make sure you have Skype open. So first what you're going to need is Soundflower, you're going to need Skype, and Audio Hijack Pro. So make sure you have those installed. Um, I'll have the links in the sidebar for you so it's very easy to download them on your Mac. It's really not even such a big deal, it's maybe like a 20 second download. Um, so first of all we're going to actually go into Audio Hijack Pro. Um, here's the icon down here in my dock. And you don't actually have to have the license to actually use the application, um, just as a friendly reminder, but you have a 10 minute limit. So if you wanted to, uh, if you're in the middle of a Skype call and it just crashes on you, um, just redo it and you have a fresh 10 minutes, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so we're gonna go into the Skype pane right here. It really works with a lot of stuff here, but we're just gonna go into Skype. And uh, what we're gonna do is, let me, I already have it selected, but let me delete it and show you. Um, so right here, we're gonna go to Skype and we're gonna click, right click on it, and we're gonna click 4X Effect Auxiliary Device Output. And what this allows us to do is kind of reroute the audio through Audio Hijack Pro um, to Soundflower while still letting us uh, talk through the microphone, which is pretty awesome. So we're gonna go into audio, uh, Auxiliary Device Output, and you're gonna have this window come up. Make sure the device is under Soundflower 2CH, uh, so that's going to be our output right there. And you don't even have to open Soundflower to do this, it's just all installed from the settings. Um, so then we're going to have Skype, we're going to ha click hijack up here so it actually does the action. Quit and relaunch Skype to hijack it, so let's go ahead and do that. So down here it's kind of relaunching Skype, just let it do that, it'll take maybe like a few seconds. All right, so we're back and logged in. All right, so we're gonna go into uh, Ustream right now. I'm gonna show you guys how this works. So right now it's hijacking. Um, it's hijacking Skype. So let's minimize that. We're gonna go into Skype. We're gonna go to Skype Preferences. And uh, we're gonna make sure everything's still here, guys. Make sure you didn't change any of this, all right? Okay, so now we're gonna go to Ustream, which is right here. Let me actually bring it into one window. All right, I guess I can't do that. Uh, let me move the space. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is going into Skype test call, and as you can see right now, the volume meter is moving, and that's because the display audio is actually taking in uh, from my cinema display. So first of all, before you even call, make sure you go into Soundflower 2CH. Most importantly, make sure that happens. And you're not gonna hear your voice um, because it's just not gonna be going. So until you take the Skype call, it's not gonna take any audio in. So let's go ahead and call Skype test call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. All right guys, so you can see down here the meter is moving and when I stop talking, it will stop moving. So clearly it is taking in the audio um, and this is just a... All right guys, so you can see down here the meter all right, so I'm just going to end it right there, but you guys kind of heard when I take the Skype call, it takes my audio in and the actual Skype call, which is really nice. Um, it, it, that was just a test call from Skype. I didn't really call someone to do that, um, but it would work the same way. It was just a test call, but hopefully that worked for you. This was a, a very simple thing to do. Some people use Soundflower and Skype to reroute it and use actually um, the Skype I mean the Soundflower preferences, which will not work because you can't talk while doing it. You can only play whatever you're uh, importing into Soundflower, which is quite a hassle because you actually want to talk while taking the Skype call, right? So I guess that was just a pretty cool thing I wanted to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, take it easy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.